Good evening, I'm Jackie Spate. With voter registration underway, it's a good time to ask who will run the show come 2014. Ritika Pratap finds out if an election supervisor is likely to be hired soon. The electronic voter registration is the first step to the 2014 elections, but despite all the progress we are making, there is still no one calling the shots at the elections office. Uh, as you know, the Office of the Supervisor of Elections still exists legally, but uh, with the new um, electoral registration of voters decree 2012, that uh, role of the Supervisor of Elections will be, uh, will be carried out by the Permanent Secretary responsible for elections until a Supervisor of Elections is uh, appointed. Along with the Supervisor's post, we've confirmed an Electoral Commission is also yet to be appointed. Again, with the decree that just uh, in really, uh, the electoral voter registration decree 2012, it also um, uh, the electoral commission is still in existence eh? under under law, but uh, the role of the commission is currently being carried out by the minister responsible for elections until that electoral commission come, uh, is appointed. So, would the permanent secretary consider the supervisor's post? Well, it's an interesting area, but it's. Um, it's a, it's a big challenge. I'd uh, give it to somebody who is uh, more acute to the job of supervisor of elections. Yes. The elections office says none of their work leading up to elections will be compromised by the lack of a supervisor or the absence of the commission. Ritika Pratap, FBC News. And in the Western Division, there's been a better turnout for registration. Yesterday, there were close to 240 voters registered. That number was surpassed by lunchtime today. Christopher Chand with the details. Day two, and registration clerk set up an extra desk, expecting big numbers. For now, it's slow and steady. Numbers rising as the hours pass. In, in everything, there's this, uh, some hiccups, some weaknesses. Eh? But uh, close of business yesterday, they were able to register about 236 people. The office is preparing to roll out next week. Hundreds of people will be deployed to various towns. But the message should go out to our people. If you want to be part of the, the new government, you, if you need to be part of the election process, you need to, to, to register. This is the, the starting point. If this centre is too far for you, don't despair. Come Monday, there'll be 398 EVR centres opened around the Western Division to cater for those living too far away from urban areas. Christopher Chand, FBC News. And as registration entered day two around Fiji, there was a better turnout of youth. FBC News visited three centres in Nausori to find that young people are coming out in big numbers. Dev Sachindra has the story. It's taking a turn for the better. As registrations continue today, young people showed more interest getting involved in the elections process. It's a big turnaround from yesterday. The three registration centers in Nosori have seen a lot of youths turning up to register. Now it's a good indication of the level of interest teenagers have in the upcoming elections. These teenagers are part of 300 students from the Methodist Church in the Voilevu. I'm very grateful and uh, this is the first time for me as, uh, as a student for me to vote and uh, it will make a difference to the government for my vote. It's important for me to vote because uh, first of all I feel very happy. It's the first time uh, for me to vote and take part in uh, electing of our leaders of tomorrow as a citizen of our beloved country. We are all invited to come as uh, compulsory in the school to come and register. Another student says she's happy to be given a chance to make a difference. They should uh, vote if they're 18 plus and uh, be sure who they want to vote for because they're the one who's going to govern us. The idea of what our future is and therefore if you vote now we'll have a brighter future. Officials are hoping others will make the queue and register to vote. Dev Sachindra, FBC News.